In 2000, director Robert Zemeckis brought us this psychological thriller starring Michelle Pfeiffer and Harrison Ford. I really enjoyed this film, and as a kid, I always thought it was pretty chilling because Ghost in general was the one thing that would always frighten me. But this film is very well made, along with the cast, the legendary Michelle Pfeiffer, and Harrison Ford. Robert Zemeckis really knows how to build tension. With a slow build-up, it's really earned throughout this film. Though I don't really think the film is scary now, it's still thought-provoking. The thought that your past can go back and bite your nage. But the style in this film has a real old-school classical aspect of filmmaking, which you can clearly see the director took notes from Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 Psycho, not only with the main character being named Norman. The biggest impact in both stories focuses around the tub, and the score itself has a very Hitchcockian feel to it. The only minor complaint I'd have about this film is that the twist is pretty much spoiled in the trailer, even for a 2000 film, which even without seeing the trailer you could have picked up that what happened and what not. I think the film Gothica starring Holly Berry is very similar to this film in many ways, of course with the ghost aspect, but then the husband being the one that brought all these problems upon them. This film is 2 hours and 10 minutes, which the first half pretty much focuses on her investigating and assuming that her neighbor is the ghost and honestly I think that's less interesting once you find out that's not the case it would have taken off at least a good 30 minutes from the film it would have helped it move it to a quicker pace and smoothly I really would have liked to have seen more of the daughter honestly because she just goes off to college and we know nothing about her but we see more of their dog Cooper which is good considering he is the one of the few dogs that doesn't die because you know that's basically any pet's purpose in a horror movie the quality that was treated for it, as far as, you know, you know, no gore, you know, just good old-fashioned suspense. I cannot praise how much I just love Michelle Pfeiffer, you know, there's just a few of my films with her, and, like, every character she's done, she just kills it every time, like, you know, like Orlando, uh, Fabulous Baker Boys, uh, I Am Sam, especially, she's great in that, um, and, you know, so many other films, The Batman Returns, Catwoman, she's the best Catwoman we had. Um, and, you know, she is really good in this film too, even though this is like, she's not very much in the, she's not very well known for horror films or, you know, thrillers, but, I mean, she does really good in this, and, um, and as does Harrison Ford, um, it's totally believable that he is this character. I'd imagine that would have been very hard for Michelle Pfeiffer to um, be sitting in that bathtub for long takes. At the end, it really picks up a lot, and then, you know, so much going on, really. Uh, but then it kind of just cuts off kind of abruptly. Um, but it's a good ending. I like it, you know. Even though it's kind of sad in a way, you know. Because her life is, you know, ruined basically, and then she's gonna have to tell her daughter that her father's dead. Um, but yeah, so it's a really good film, though. What do you think about it? I'd like to know your thoughts and talk about it down below so we can discuss it more. And because I love talking about films uh, on the daily movies, uh, hit subscribe, comment, you know, uh, stay in touch and. We will discuss films and the art and that joy they bring together. Thank you.